everyone, welcome to a new episode here of Essential Marketing, where our mission is to provide helpful tips and tricks to anyone who is interested in marketing. My name is David White, and today we are gonna be talking about why you should consider event marketing for your business. And it doesn't matter if you have ever done events before, or if you think that your business lends itself for events or does not, now is the time to become creative. And we're gonna unpack that a little bit more and running an event could yield fantastic results uh, for your business. And so let's start with reason number one around why running events is gonna be so powerful for your business. And we'll take a look at one example of an event that we have done. So here you can see an ad that we had placed on social media. So this ad was found on Facebook, it was found on Instagram. Um, I believe there were a few even on LinkedIn and it was an invitation to business owners to attend a marketing seminar that we had done together in partnership with Green River College. It was uh, through their research and marketing class. And the nice thing about um, this type of marketing and marketing for an event is first party data. And let me unpack that. What do I mean with that? Well, I'm sure that most of you who are somewhat involved with marketing and maybe even some of you business owners know that over the last couple of years there have been significant changes in what we can and what we can't do in digital marketing one of those things is how we can access cookies now i know that for many of you that's going to already sound kind of geeky but maybe to unpack that a little bit more is that with cookies that allows things such as being able to follow people around with content, with ads, it allows us to create sort of that aha moment from uh, consumers with like, how in the world did they know that I'm interested in this? I just spoke this the other day and, you know, and all that kind of thing. Well, a lot of that is going away um, due to uh, uh, higher restrictions when it comes to cookies. And so we as marketers, we as business owners need to be more diligent and how we're getting first party data. First party data is names, it's email address, it's essentially prospect information. And the more of that kind of data that you have, the bigger opportunities you're gonna have uh, in marketing because some of those other techniques when it comes to how, you know, that are based on and have a dependency to cookies, those are going away. So having more and more first party data is really important, bringing it a full circle. So why does that uh, matter in terms of events? Well, you're getting first party data. You're running an event. In our case, we're running an event where we're talking about marketing and we're inviting business owners to attend and we're able to increase our database in terms of first party data of people who are interested in marketing. This could work for a contractor. This could work if you're a charity. It could work for a non-for-profit, a business. It doesn't matter who you are. Now is the time to become creative and thinking about what is it that you could share as a subject matter expert that would get people to sign up and with you having the result, they're able to increase the amount of first party data that you have. So that's reason number one why any business should consider thinking about putting on event. Second reason is um, this is also a little bit of, of the secret sauce specific to us and why we love events. And that is the ability then to nurture um, those uh, individuals that have signed up. And we love Eventbrite. There are other platforms out there, um, but the nice thing about Eventbrite and these other platforms is you are now able to send emails to those people who have just signed up through the event directly through their platform. Well, why does that excite us so much? Over 50% open rate. That's insane. And the reason is that if I have a marketing email going out from a platform such as Eventbrite versus an email that is being sent out through your business domain name, the credibility of that email is so much higher and that's gonna have an immediate impact in your open rate and ultimately then also your conversion rate. We were blown away to see how uh, the open rate has um, continuously been, irrespective if it was for us 
or some of our customers where we imp implemented the same strategy. So again, it's a little bit uh, somewhat of the secret sauce that, that we use, but it's something that, that can be available for any business. So that's reason number two is that there are, are several really, really good tools that will allow you then to nurture those individuals who have just signed up for an event, one of those being Eventbrite. Last but not least is credibility. Now, if you're running an event, you're essentially putting yourself out there publicly and it, it will help increase the credibility and cement you as a subject matter expert because you're gonna be talking about what you know best as a subject matter expert. And so we have found irrespective of the products and services that we have ran events for, that it really can help um, create uh, more credibility for those individuals. So for that, it's already well worth it. Uh, but then coupling that with sort of like the digital marketing um, advantages being that you're able to increase your first party data and you're able to use uh, and leverage platforms such as Eventbrite to increase your conversion rate and your open rate. It's a triple whammy, if you will. So all of you should definitely try and, and be creative. I know that many businesses out there, they've never thought of running events. But again, in 2022, with the restrictions that we have in marketing, it's time to be creative. And here's one example uh, for all of you to con consider. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If it was, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to see you in the future. Take care and bye.